Tell me what it's like to be fearless, beating down the door into my chest. I'm ripping at the seams, boy. Traveling open roads with no headlights, but you take a stroll. Cause you know I get a little tricky. Down the deepest tunnels of the time you took my hand and led me out of sounds point to choose and clear as glass now. Kiss up of the love was a sickness, fragile little. The rehearsal make you feel better? <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Bobby. I trust this wedding finds you well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start off by just taking a few moments to brag about Bobby. Did I break it already? Do we just close it and we'll stop? Oh, hip. It's true that he makes a lot of jokes about how rich and successful he is, but he also lets a lot of his greatness go unnoticed. Hey, it's off film. Yeah. It's documented. And I have the honor of being one of the few to witness Bobby in all his glory. Hi, Marlene. I hope these vows find you well. Yes, I wrote that. <laughs> Standing here today in front of all the people we love the most, all I can think about is, where did all the money in our savings account go? <laughs> and also, how lucky am I to be marrying my best friend in our favorite state of Maine during our favorite season? <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Are we wearing these right now? Some of my first memories of Bobby are seeing him walk down the halls of NYU looking too cool for school and me thinking that he was a huge player. Here I was, a young Jewish boy growing up in the suburbs of Long Island, a closeted Desperate Housewives and Bachelor viewer, a not as closeted WWE and Jonas Brothers fan, and I wore cargo shorts with high socks pretty much every day. I felt I checked off all the right boxes. It turned out that the only thing he was playing was his saxophone. <laughs> but boy, did he play that saxophone. Months into our relationship, you finally revealed that you can sing like an angel and that you also do a pretty mean impression of both Nick Jonas and Josh Groban. <laughs> uh, you encourage us to start Bobby Lean, and that's become a, one of the most special things we share together. Bobby, your musicianship is one of the first things that attracted me to you, and music continues to be one of our greatest sources of connection. We had our first date at a jazz club and pool bar in New York City and then went to a diner. I still remember this night vividly and how I immediately felt comfortable around you. We shared so many stories and laughs together that night and there was never any awkward silence like on pretty much all my previous dates.
Our first trip to Maine together was during Christmas of 2017. We had only been dating for a few months at that point, but I would say that trip kind of sealed the deal on our relationship. That first Christmas, we sat in your den and sang Christmas carols together as you played the piano. I remember feeling the happiest and most drunk I've ever been. <laughs> I got a better understanding of who you are as a person after experiencing how nurturing, caring, and kind your mom is, and how funny and inappropriate your dad is. I felt like I had known you forever. And in this moment, I knew I was in love. <laughs> there are certain moments when I'd look at you and think to myself, yeah, that is definitely the guy for me. Bobby, you make life so darn entertaining. You're one of the most outrageous, hilarious people I've ever met. And you keep me, our friends and family laughing constantly. I feel so grateful for the way you've made our lives together so lighthearted and fun. And I know that your amazing sense of humor will help us through any hard times that we might face. You have taught me how to love, to be a better person, and how to cook bacon. You made me realize how much I miss singing when you and I started singing together a year or so into our relationship after we didn't know the other person even sang. You have spoiled me with your delicious home-cooked meals, always laugh at my stupid jokes, and taught me that cargo shorts aren't cool and have helped me find better clothes to wear. <laughs> you are my number one supporter and always encouraged me to follow my dreams. After being together for six years, it sort of feels like we're already married. But today we legally bind ourselves to one another, so you're really stuck with me now. And there's no one I'd rather be stuck with than you. I love how passionate you are for music, which constantly inspires and motivates me to be a better musician. I love how deeply you care for your family and friends. I love that we are both obsessed with fall and Christmas. I love how you think that me not knowing anything about pretty much everything is cute and how we basically know everything about each other. I promise to love you just as you are today and to love who you become. I promise to be your most passionate supporter and to protect your heart fiercely. And I promise that I will strive every day to match the patience and thoughtfulness that you so effortlessly show me. So here's to a lifetime of us making music together, laughing at your inappropriate jokes, admiring your abs, and loving each other as fiercely as, pos as we possibly can. I love you, Bobby, and I can't wait to see how this ends. I promise that I'll never stop loving you. I promise that I'll always be here for you during the good times and the bad. I promise that I'll always support, respect, and admire you. I promise that I'll let you turn the heater up a couple degrees if you get too cold at night, most of the time. I promise that I'll do my best to not ask you any more questions about the plot of a TV show or movie while we're watching. And I promise to always show you how much that I care. Hearts get broken every day. As we begin the rest of our lives together as a married couple, I can't wait for things to remain exactly the same as they are now. You'll always be my person, and I couldn't imagine living life without you. The only difference is that I'll now get to wear my sick gold wedding band and my sick gold watch every day, which will be a constant reminder of the happiest day of my life and of the special woman I now have the honor of calling my wife. I love you with all my heart. <laughs> then, by the power vested in me, by the great state of Maine and the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. the house.
highs and I don't miss the lows Emotional turmoil was all that I know One more heartbreak that I couldn't bear When I met you I was running scared Spent my life thinking I wasn't enough Was ready to give up before we begun A flicker of hope in my world of doubt You patiently waited as my walls came down Now it's only sweet relief Cause you make this feel easy Waited for you in eternity You battled a ghost that Bag of stones, you built us a home, sheltered by your love wherever we roam. Now it's only sweet relief, cause you make this feel easy. Waiting for you in eternity, you battle the ghosts that were haunting me. Safe in your arms, I could finally breathe, cause you.